What's up, everybody, man? We are back with another EP in season three of the Gary Watkins podcast. Slowly getting ready to come to an end. And hey, man, how y'all? How y'all people doing? Hold on, real quick before we get started. Y'all be sure to like, be sure to comment, subscribe, turn on the notifications, do all that good stuff, man. Because I got something special coming for y'all, good people in season four. So, um. Before we really get into it with our guest, man, we got an amazing guest here on the Gary Watkins podcast. I can't wait for y'all to, you know, get to know more about them. Let's do a wellness check real quick. I want everyone to take a moment and think on a scale of one through 10, removing the number seven, and be honest with yourself. Where you at right now? Mentally, emotionally, spiritually, overall, just where you at right now. Just take a moment. So once you decide whatever that number is, I want you to give a brief description. Why are you there? And what can you do to help your situation? All right. So I got an amazing guest, man. Dope artist, upcoming artist here in the middle Georgia area, man. You know, we we both kind of come from the same neck of the woods. And, you know, I just I just got to let y'all hear him from, man. What's going on, bro? Yeah, man. I'm feeling good, my boy. You doing all right, man? How, yeah. How life treating you, bro? I'm blessed. Blessed. I just had my first child, a little girl. Congratulations. So, you know. Congratulations, bro. I'm in good spirit. I appreciate it. Man, just let them folk know what your name is and stuff like that real quick. Yeah, I'm Calvin S. Mm -hmm. Formerly Shicey C. Mm -hmm. You know what I'm saying? I did a rebrand. From Jacksonville, Georgia, you know, yeah. Tweed County. Yeah. Down yeah. there in the sticks, in the woods. In the woods, man. Yeah. Yeah, man. So, bro, it's good seeing you, bro. It's been a minute. I don't think I've seen you since, you know, you graduated, man. Right. Yeah, bro. So, just give, like, you know, a brief update, like, you know, where you, where you coming from. You know, we were talking briefly before we got started. You know, you're saying you just relocated back near home and stuff. Yeah. So, kind of give, like, a rundown, you know, where you coming from, where you been at, you know, stuff of that nature. Yeah, man. I've been in Columbus for, like, maybe the past three years mm. working musically and just working in general. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? But I think it was just time to come home, man. Yeah. Come back to the, you know what I'm saying, to my... Your origins. My origins, you know what, you know what I'm saying? saying? Yeah, yeah, I it was feel that it. Time. I feel it, bro. So how you were liking it over there in Columbus, you know? What, what was life like? What's the difference you noticed between Twigs and Columbus? <laughs> a bit different, you know. Um, it's a big city, so mm -hmm. moving fast, everything moving kind of fast. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? I love it out there in Columbus, don't get me wrong. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? I met a bunch of good people, yeah. good artists out there as well. For sure. You know what I'm saying? So I got a couple connects out there, but... I just want to come on home this time. You know what I'm saying? Ain't nothing wrong with that, bro. Ain't nothing. So, like, speaking of Columbus, that's like borderline Georgia, Alabama. Yeah, right? yeah. So, um, I lived in Columbus, and I lived in Phoenix City, too, for one year. So, mm -hmm. Phoenix City is in Alabama. That's essentially right on the line. Yeah, right on the line. Yeah. yeah. Bet. It's been a minute since I've been, been to Phoenix. So, other than that, bro, since, you know, you've been home, you say you just, you know, you had your first yeah. baby girl, you know what I'm saying? You don't mind sharing how old, how old she is right yeah, now? Yeah, she two months. She just made two months uh, yeah, on the 14th. That's hard. Yeah. That's hard. So what's, you know, touch briefly on, like, what's early fatherhood been like for you real quick? Uh, <laughs> late nights. Late nights. Late, late nights. That's <laughs> what it been. But I love it, though. It done, it done put a, a different grind in me. You know mm -hmm. what I'm saying? I maybe want to go harder, mm -hmm. you know. But it definitely been on late nights. definitely takes something in. Takes me getting used to. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? That's hard. That's hard. And, you know, I don't have a kid yet, but I can understand. A lot of people do say that. It's like when they have they, their child, you know what I'm saying? It just, it put a, a new, fresh set of batteries in. Yeah, you know yeah, it saying? do. It do. Yeah, that's hard. That's hard. So, bro, you know, we got a project. You got a project that's coming up. Yeah. Touch briefly on that. Not even briefly. We about to go take a deep dive into right. it. So, what's the name of this project? It's a self-titled project. It's going to be called Calvin. I mean, apparently it's named after you. What's the meaning behind it, though? Kind of touch, go into detail into why you gave it that name. Um, I just felt like I kind of find myself, you know what I'm saying? Find my sound, find who I am. And it's been music that I actually been wanting to make. I just didn't know how, how I would do it, how I would release it. But, you know... Um, I finally came around, you know, I just felt like this is me, mm. you know what I'm saying? 
and we went from there. And then, like, I think I got about nine tracks on there. Mm-hmm. Hard track. Mm-hmm. You know what I'm saying? Um, it's more of a R and B kind of album. You know okay. what I'm saying? Because that's what I grew up on. Like, yeah. I always love R and B. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? I always want to make that type of music. You know, I just find myself when I was performing on the show. I see, I want to make music that everybody that I thought everybody else would like gravitate and, to. Yeah, yeah. But I didn't per se necessarily like it myself. You know what I'm saying? But this, the music right here that I love to make, and I want people to hear from. It. That's hard. So even with the rebranded from Shice to C to Calvin S. Yeah. What made you kind of go through that transition with the rebranding? Like what what? encourage you to go into that? I think it was just time, man. Um, I done grown a lot, matured a lot, not just musically, but personally too. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? I done learned so much in the music now. Like when I first started doing music, G, um, I didn't know nothing about music. Mm-hmm. You know what I'm saying? I didn't know how to do no rollout. I didn't know how to do no promotion. I didn't know how to do, I didn't know nothing about like mixing and mastering a song. Mm-hmm. I was literally, Recording songs on my phone yeah. with some iPhone headphones. Yeah. Make the song, put it on Facebook, put it on SoundCloud. You know what I'm saying? So, and I, that what I was doing, not knowing that like first impression is everything. Mm-hmm. And like they want a good first impression. People hear you, like you ain't taking yourself serious. Yeah. So I think the rebrand just give me a a second chance at a first impression. Okay. A second chance to do it right. To do the promo, mm-hmm. do a rollout, contact the people I need to contact. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? Bet. So even you know you say you grew up on like the R and B sound and stuff. First, let's two questions. Yeah. What made you like? What was going on around you like in your your your, your younger childhood? Like what made you gravitate to R and B? And what's your take on R and B today? I can tell you exactly. Early mornings on the way to school, my my mom would get us up. And they, she would take us to my grandma's house that we would catch the bus at. But on the way to my grandma's house, she just played. Uh, she had, I think she had a, um, a CD. Yeah. It was two people on it. I think it was Luther Vandross and a, uh, a Marvin Gaye CD or something okay. like that. But she used to play it like every day, every morning. We used to go uh, get ready to go to school. Mm-hmm. And I think that was started it, yeah. you know. But also, I had a big sister. Mm-hmm. And so we had a big radio. And she always had a radio in her room. So when we get ready to, um, Go to school in the morning. She got radio, and she playing playing music that she liked. So she playing, you know, Usher and Chris Brown and Pretty Ricky, yeah, and all types of stuff like that. So that's what I was listening to. Yeah, you know what I'm saying. So that's how I want to make that type of music too. Man, I wonder. Is that's so crazy? Cause like growing up in Twigs, um, I didn't catch the bus at my mom house either. I caught it at my grandma's yeah. house my whole life. So I wonder. Is like, is that's how it is for like you know. A lot of other people, where we come from, you know right. what I'm saying? Because, you know, of course, we all have unique circumstances and stuff. Mm-hmm. Like, where I stay at is no street lights. So, and we stay like two, three miles back in the woods yeah. type deal. Yeah. So, it's like, who about to walk to the bus stop? Right. You know what I'm saying? So, <laughs> but, uh, no. Nah, so, what's your take on today's R&B? Like, do you have any input on that? Not necessarily. I like what is it, but me personally... I'm into like, I want to bring that like 90s feel back, mm-hmm. that 80s, 90s feel back. That's what I like. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? And on the album, I got a couple of beats like kind of inspired by like that 80s, 90s type of feel right now. Yeah. So that's what I'm kind of putting down on the album. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? I want to bring that that good feel back. No, for real. That's what's missing today. It is, it's man. It's missing, bro. So even with that, can you give like, you know, your Mount Rushmore or your top five artists that you listening to? My top five artists I'm listening let's, to. Matter of fact, let's do like your five coming up, growing up, and then your five currently. Growing up, man. Who was I listening to? Take your time. Take your time. We ain't in no rush. Uh-huh. We doing R&B or just, just who I listen just to? Just overall, any, anybody. Oh, growing up? Real rap, r T.I. Okay. Um, Usher. Mm. Um, Two heavy hitters right there. Gucci Man. Okay. Jeezy. Let me see. One more. One more. Um, and if you got to do an honorable mention, feel free to do so. I say, no, I'm going to say T-Pain. 
I was doing a lot of tea pain when I was little. Yeah. You know what I'm Buy you a drink and I'm Come on now. Huh? Hey, I love that, man. Hey, man, we, we we had no business, you know, singing that coming <laughs> up. You did what I said. Right. So who's currently, like, who's kind of liking your shuffle on your playlist right now? Oh, you ain't going to like this gear. Uh-oh. Drake. <laughs> he said I wasn't going to like it. He was right. I like that gear. No, now, don't get me wrong now. Drake make amazing music, but, all right. Cause that's what's been going on in recent time. The Kendrick, yeah. Drake, beef, whoop, whoop, whoop. So Drake is an amazing artist. You yeah. did what I'm saying. But Kendrick said, I forgot which song. It's probably Euphoria, whichever one. He said one, you know, line where he was like, "We like Drake with the melodies. We don't like Drake when he act tough." <laughs> and I swear to God, like Drake, he been running the game for a decade plus. Yeah. He has yeah. been running. I give it to him now, but. I personally stopped listening to Drake when he started linking up like with the 21 Savage and doing right. like the, you know, I don't want to say drill music, but mm-hmm. you know, like he's spanking shit, you know right, what I'm saying? Right, right. And, and now when I listen to the song with Like That with Future, you know, when you listen to the hook, he was saying something other nature, you know, niggas from the bottom really like that. Yeah. You know, and I think we all, based on what we know, what we see and what we heard, Drake, you don't come from like, you know, where... Those yeah. people really come from kind yeah. of deal, but that's that's just my knock on Drake. Other than that, amazing artist. Um, so, and yeah, you know Drake. That's one. Yeah, yeah. So I'm listening to Drake. What else I'm listening to? Oh, um, part of it though, he okay. dropped an album like a couple, um, like I say, a couple months ago. Yeah. So that was definitely in the playlist. Yeah, P and D. Uh, I'm always listening to Young Thug. Okay. Young Thug, one of my inspirations. Mm-hmm. Made music. Thug. Yeah, man. That's three. Let me see. I don't, I don't too much listening to nobody. I stopped yeah. listening to a lot of music, bro. Yeah. I don't know, is it that I'm getting older now? But a lot of music that I had in my playlist, I don't I don't like it. I don't like listening to it no yeah. more. A lot of that, like, kind of loud. No, that's, much stuff. that's real, bro. Like, cause I recently just made my own personal playlist, a bunch of, like, R&B kind of chill music, soothing, yeah. and I had you chill. It just... I think it do got something to do with, you know, growing up. Yeah. Maturing is just you don't want to be around all that ah Yeah, know. all the time. Yeah. You know what I'm it, it just it get it get it'll overstimulate you, you did what I'm right. saying. And and it's enough of it. Like it's enough violence and all yeah. this negativity yeah. going on. So like I really like what you pushing as far as like bringing making relationships great again. Right. Making relationships of, great again. Make being a lover great again. Mm-hmm. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. I like I like late night being able to drive, listen to some calm, chill music. That's nah. that's the feel I have on my album that I'm gonna put out. You know what I'm saying? Oh late night. Yeah. Chill. Yeah. You just ride. You know yeah. No, nah, that's hard, bro. So you care to share like a few tracks on there that you really feel in, what you think that's really going Yeah, of course. Um I got a track. Also with a video coming out on on the twenty fourth. Okay. Called I Won. I Won. Man, I feel like that's the one. That's the one. I feel like that's the one for real, man. I, I put some hard work in it. Like I was at work, and it took me about about um two weeks to make the song. I was just at work, putting on beats while I'm working. Mm-hmm. Like man, beat caught my you know what I'm saying yeah. caught my attention, but I like. Every day at work, I was just maybe putting like one lyric or one line down as I went, taking my time with it. Mm-hmm. And I finally got done. You know, I went back and I wrapped the whole thing to myself, so the whole thing to myself. I like this it right here. I want to record it today. Yeah. I don't care what's going on. I'm going there today. I got to record it. I got the melody. I got the tune. I got it in my head. I got to get it out. Mm-hmm. And so I went, I went and recorded it. And I think... That's gonna be one of the ones. Yeah. And I also got a track called Okay. Um, it's a vibe. Yeah. Definitely a vibe. Okay. Those two tracks right there. No, I'm talking I love, about some okay. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> I love all of them on there, but I got a special play for those two right there. I, I okay. just love those tracks. I right want there. and okay. Okay. Y'all yeah. keep a lookout for them. Those right are now. the first two songs, yeah. actually. Okay gonna be number one. So I, I'll give you that. And um I want. Yeah. Gonna be number two, and I'm gonna um, put the video out with that. Bet, 
And you say it drop on the 24. On the 24. Bet. Yeah. That's a bet. So is there a song on there, or do you think it's a song on there that I might sneak up on somebody like? Yeah. Actually, I was listening to it um, on the way here. Yeah. You know, it's nine songs on there. And I've just been playing those two songs because I just love them so much. But I was like, let me go through and make sure the tape kind of flowing. And I was just going through this song called Diamond on there. And I was just listening to it. Yeah, Damn. it's a good song too. Like I, all of them, good songs. Cause, bro, I probably made maybe over 20, 30 songs, but I chose nine. You know what I'm saying? Mm. So I, I made a lot of songs. Mm. I only chose nine of them to, to like do something with. You know, so all of them good songs. I think they're gonna be one of the ones kind of like sneak up. Yeah, like, it's a good, it's a good song. So about those other songs that didn't quite make the cut, like you just gonna. Do you plan on ever releasing them? No, 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 no. Uh. A lot of songs, man, I I treat the music like football when I play football, bro. Like, it's practice. Those songs were reps. Mm. Those songs was, can I do this? Can I make that sound? Let me see, can I make that type of sound? Yeah. Can I make the type of melody? Um, do I have this flow down pat? You know what I'm saying? Make, doing that. Yeah. And then finally, like, I can make that sound. Yeah. Let me make the real song now. Oh, I got that melody. I can do it for real. I can make it sound good. Okay. I'm ready to make the real song now yeah. that I'm actually put out. You know what I'm saying? So to me, it'd be a lot of practice. A lot of songs I never release. They just be me practicing, trying to see what I can do. That's hard. Now, and that's a great analogy that you use right there, man. Shout out to my guy DQ, Darquez Denard. He yeah. always put a uh a emphasis on you got to get your reps in. You got to. You got to get your reps in. Like you got to put in countless time hours. Like you got to. You got to put in the time. So when it's actually time to perform, you'll be ready. You ready. You ready. You know what I'm saying? That's hard, bro. No, that's hard. So, kind of talk to the people about like what is it like in the studio with you? You know, what's your process? Do you gotta? Do you gotta eat a certain meal, or you gotta? You like the lights dim, or you gotta have a certain color, like? What's what's the process? Hey man, I like it real intimate. Mm. I don't like for for it to be crowded, anything like that. I just like me, the engineer, and uh, yeah. I want it to be dark. Yeah, I really don't even want the engineer to see me either. I want mm. I want a curtain over the glass. I don't even want you to see me. <laughs> yeah, you know what I'm saying? Because it'd be so funny that person see me, like a new engineer see me. You know, he'll probably think I'm probably going to get in there and make a certain type of music. Mm. And then I hit him with a different vibe. Yeah. You, know, you can kind of tell you, like, he making that type of music? Mm -hmm. Like, yeah. But So I got to get in there and kind of, you know, sing. My face be all turned yeah. different way, trying to sing and <laughs> hit these little notes that I'm trying to hit yeah. a little bit. So, but I like it dark enough. I like a um, dark blue light, maybe dark purple light, mm -hmm. real dim in that man. I do my thing. Yeah. Yeah. So do, is it a certain snack that you gotta have? Like I don't know, like gummy worms or some shit. Like like what you uh, nah or I, a drink. You know? I do have my drink and I like to um drink a little wine, man. That, okay. I've been, that I've been drinking like, so you lately. my kind of people. I ain't gonna I ain't gonna hold you my kind of you my kind of people, you did what I'm yeah, saying? Man. Yeah, cause I ain't you know, I'm not a, a drinker myself, but a wine here and there, you know? Yeah. A wine cool. A wine get me there, man, like it get me to that smooth, like space I want to be. Yeah. To make the songs that I'm making. Mm -hmm. You know what I'm saying? And not saying I need it, but you know what I'm saying? It definitely you got it. It's like an enhancement. <laughs> yeah, it's an know? enhancement. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? So I've been on that double XL lately. Mm -hmm. That would I mean that I use for this whole album, double XL. Yeah. <laughs> do you already got a graphic in place? Cover art. Yeah. You do? Yeah. It's already out. Already out, yeah. We definitely gonna put it in this video, man. Y'all be sure. sure to tap in. Um and real quick, um, share all the platforms it'll be on. Oh, all platforms and any any screen platform. Apple Music, got Spotify, like Pand Ooh, I ain't gonna say Pandora, but you know it might, it might yeah, yeah, it might end up on the YouTube. Yeah. YouTube, definitely cool. gonna be on YouTube. That's hard, bro. Pretty much everywhere, man. Yeah, man. No, that's hard, bro. We definitely gonna put it in the description. Y'all be sure to tap in, man. We about to chop it up a little bit more. You got time, right? Yeah. You don't so, got nowhere to be? No, I ain't got nowhere to be, man. Hey, you know, hood day to day, you know what I'm saying? Yeah. So, yeah. you know what I'm saying? But, yeah, man. I'm here, man. That's hard. So, let's, let's speak a little bit more about, because I like, you know, 
I always like to document my guests, you mm-hmm. know, about where they come from, you know, how they came up, your experiences and stuff of that nature. Yeah. And I'm real big on mental health. So I have to ask you real quick, you know, we did a wellness check right before we got started. Where are you currently right now mentally on a scale one through 10, removing the number seven? Right. When you first did it, I was thinking in my head, bro. And honestly, I can say I'm at a 10 right now. Mm. It's like That's everything, a everything like going my way right now or how I want it to go. You know, I'm working, I'm, I'm getting my money. Mm. I'm blessed to have my child and, mm. my, and my girl. You know what I'm saying? Um, I'm making the music that I want to make. I feel good about it yeah. this time around. I feel like I'm doing everything the right way, doing everything that I done learned over the years. I'm, I'm, I'm doing it yeah. now, you know what I'm saying? So I'm, I'm I'm in a good place right now, honestly. No, that's amazing, bro. That is amazing, dog. And, bro, I just want to say I'm proud of you, bro. Real that. talk, like, you know, we we both from Twigs. We went to the, we walked the same hallways and stuff of that yeah. nature. I, I kind of hate sometimes I didn't get a chance to be in high school with you guys, but right. man, like I can still remember you, you know what I'm saying, being in middle school and stuff of that nature. Yeah, like yeah. I can vividly remember this stuff. I was a water boy. Yeah. You, <laughs> Out there with y'all. I forgot about that. I forgot <laughs> about that. Who was the other? Did it you have- Yeah. You are right. I, I ain't going to count. I forgot about that. But no, bro, I'm just proud of you, bro. Like it's just good to see you, you know- in, in one piece yeah you know with everything that's just going on in the world like you know people come people go mm-hmm. that kind of stuff right there bro and, and i'm just i'm proud to see you bro i appreciate it man no for real bro so um uh, man let's touch on a little bit more let's go let's talk about a little bit more stuff as long as you got time now, yeah i got time you know you know you know myself. new father you know like, <laughs> you did what i said but, right yeah bro um as far as the music Mm-hmm. So, do you care to explain the difference between Shiesty C and Calvin S? Uh, yeah, I think. Like I said, I, I feel like Calvin S is me. Don't get me wrong. The music I made on the Shiesty C, good sound of music, mm-hmm. but I was also in a bad space mm-hmm. while making that music. You know what I'm saying? Like, I don't really too much really go listen to it myself because mm-hmm. I don't want to hear like what I was talking about. Or what I was going through at the time. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? You know, I moved moved away from that. Mm-hmm. You know what I'm saying? So that's the difference. I'm a better person. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? I'm 25 now. Yeah. You know, I ain't that young guy. You know what I'm saying? Out here trying to do too much. Mm-hmm. I'm laid back, calm. It's me. Yeah. Now No, that's hard, bro. That's hard. And I think that's something people kind of overlook a lot of time when it comes to artists and celebrities and these, you know, people that's that have this status whereas in a lot of the times the music that they make that's a reflection of like what they're actually going through or that space that they're in mentally Mm -hmm. and stuff and um and unfortunately this is very unfortunate what i'm about to say um you know artists they kind of gotta go through some miss and be going through hard times in order to make their best music music, Yeah. yeah yeah but in your case, though, you feel or you think that's the music at the time that was like the best music you can make. Yeah, yeah. You know exactly. what I'm saying? But with you, you know what I'm saying? You're going through like this transition and to who you are now, Calvin S. Yeah. You're about to make the best music for where you are at right now. Mm-hmm. You know what I'm saying? Exactly. So that's hard, bro. That's hard. And like I said, like, it's the music that I always want to make. Let me tell you, man, like, you know, I, I, I listen to rap artists, of mm-hmm. course, hip hop, but I just know I love R&B because let's just say a new project drop. Let's just say, who you, like, your favorite rapper? Favorite rapper? Yeah. Cole. Let's just say Cole drop, drop right? I go listen to the album, but I don't be looking for rap. I was like, let me see, did he drop a song about a girl on here? Yeah. You know what I'm saying? I was like, let me see, did he drop like a R&B song on, on, on the album? Yeah. T.I. drop an album. Mm-hmm. I was like, I, I want to see if he dropped like some R and B type of music on his album. Mm-hmm. Like, I always did that. Like since I was like a child, I go look for like the R and B song on the album. Cause usually somebody make an album and they'll probably have one song yeah, on that one. that catered to like specifically for a girl. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? Like women, mm-hmm. like R and B type of style of music. Yeah. And that's what I do. Like on every album I ever listen to, bro, I go in there and try to find the R and B. Yeah. I like, 
I ain't just gonna go listen to R and B. But it's a difference because what I'm doing is not all the way R and B. It's kind of I'm kind of teetering that line a little bit. Yeah, I'm rapping it, but I got the slow beats, mm-hmm. but I got the melodies as well. You know what I'm saying? So I'm kind of teetering. Yeah, on rapping it R and B, but I did drop it. On the R&B. Mm. You know what I'm saying? Bet. No, that's hard, bro. And that's a real talent, too, to be versatile like that. Yeah. You can rap and sing. That is a true talent. Oh, wait, 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 wait. <laughs> what that? <laughs> I ain't say I can sing. Oh, so you're not really singing for real? Nah. Okay. I'm, I'm singing, man, but I ain't no singer. But okay. I think what I do, I do it well. Mm-hmm. I'll say that. Nah, don't get me wrong. I ain't no singer. Yeah. I ain't Michael Jackson. All right, you know no, 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 understand. <laughs> but, I'm not expecting that either. But what I do, I do it well. You mm-hmm. know what I'm saying? I, I, what I do, I'm able to do it well. Mm-hmm. I, I, I stay within me, stay within range. You know what I'm saying? But like I'm telling you right now, man, I'm just it's smooth music. Yeah, I like to keep it smooth. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. But I think I think what I do, I do it pretty well, bro. That's good, bro. No, that's. And it's always room to grow. Yeah. Like you're gonna continue to discover like parts of you that you didn't know was there. Mm-hmm. Kind of exactly. deal. And that's that's one thing that's very beautiful about the journey. You know mm-hmm. what I'm saying? So, man, let's let's kind of talk a little sports a little bit, you know. So we were chopping it up a little, you know, football getting ready to start. You know, we got a bulldog in here. You got to know it. Go dog. So, so how you feeling? How you think they looking this year? You know, quarterback returning. Mm-hmm. How you think y'all looking this year? Quarterback, he finna have a better year than he did last year. Mm. And I think we going, we gonna make the playoff. Mm. And I think like, we gonna win the championship. I think we should have made the playoff last year. Yeah. Because I don't understand how the team that went back to back can lose one game and get kicked out of the playoff. Yeah, facts. You know what I'm saying? We don't went back. We the back to back champion. Yeah. How you gonna kick us out of the playoffs? Yeah. You know what I'm saying? For one loss. Mm-hmm. But Alabama, man. Mm-hmm. Hate Alabama. Man. Yeah. They yeah. always messing up, son. <laughs> you know, like anybody that's from the South, you know, it's a real, a real, I don't want to say hatred, but a real dislike yeah. when it comes to Georgia and Alabama or Georgia, Florida. Like it's a real You know what's funny though? But that like I said, I was living in Phoenix City now. Phoenix City literally Sits, man, you can walk two minutes and you'll be in Columbus. Mm-hmm. But you see the you see the difference. Over here you'll see a bunch of Georgia signs and all that. Yeah. You cross that line, Alabama, man. I rode by somebody high, man. They had a big A in their yard. Yeah. Like, like, man, like it really Alabama fans out here. I was working out there too. You know, it was funny to just be around the old guy. Like real Alabama fan. Yeah. Some on Auburn fans too, bro. Like I'm, uh, I'm in, you know what I'm saying? Unfamiliar, Unfamiliar territory. territory right now. <laughs> you know? Yeah. It's funny, though. Quick question. Y'all going to beat Auburn this year? <laughs> you can be real, bro. Be real. Of course. We got to come to y'all this year. So It was a good game last year. It was a good game. I was scared last year. Yeah, we popped it all right now. Like, I'm not going to lie. Like, Lord, kind of bad. I can't remember my quarterback name, but when he broke off that long run. Number one? Number one. Yeah. When he I broke it off, I knew we came to play. Yeah. I knew we came to play. And that was scared me. Yeah. So, no, nah, it was a great game last year. and um, I won a lot of money off that game, though. Ooh. <laughs> you be doing sport betting? This yeah, day? on sport yeah. betting. I think Brock Bowers caught that last touchdown, and, like, when he caught it, I was like, oh, oh, yeah, oh. <laughs> then he, like, he took it all out. Get my money. Yeah. What, what a new trend they doing right now? Give, give me, me my, money. Give me my money. Get, Come on. Yeah. Give me that. I need them. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> but no, he took over that last uh drive. Like he, he did. probably had like four or five catches on that one drive. And you never really see like a receiver take over a game. Usually when you say somebody took over a game, like the quarterback took over mm-hmm. and he, he took it in their own hand. Like he took over that game as like a receiver. No, for real. That's that's very rare. So, are you um, into the NFL? Yeah. Pro football? I'm a Falcon fan. It's crazy, bro. Because, look, I'm a Panther fan. 
Look, I was a Panther. Well, I say I was Cam Newton fan. Okay. So I was with you mm-hmm. for all those years. Facts. I, I do remember that now. Yeah, 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 yeah. I remember oh, that now. Yeah. We had a couple good years over there too. Yeah. It, it was fun while it lasted. While it lasted. You did what I said. Yeah. But I'm not going to cap though. The Falcons don't load it up. This hey, week. we just got um, the base safety from the Broncos. Yeah, from the Broncos. Mm-hmm. Hey, man, the defense is good anyway. Yeah. We need the offense to step it up. I think, we got the we got the pieces. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? We need to be able to get the ball to him. Yeah. <laughs> I think y'all got the guy, man. Kirk Cousins, like he has he's been a very uh sustainable quarterback for the Vikings and yeah. uh the former Washington team. So I think I think y'all got something special. I see y'all winning the, the division. Yeah. I'll say that for we sure. We got a weak division. It's, it's been weak. It's been weak. It's been weak for a minute now. Yeah. But I, I see the Falcons really competing this year. I always joke with my partners on, on my flag team. <laughs> One of he a Falcon fan. And uh I remember when the news first got out that uh the Falcons just signed Bates and he shared it in the yeah. group. Like he like hardcore Falcon fan. So I be trolling with him like he was like, Yo, we just did it, da da da. And I sent I sent all I said was nine dash eight. I just said nine and eight. Nine, nine, you think we're going 9-8? The Falcons go Falcon eventually. <laughs> they go Falcon eventually. You did what I'm saying? <laughs> like, all these big names. But I, it looked good on paper. I'll say it that. Look good it's very paper. threatening. You did what I'm saying? I don't think I'm worried about You know, um, Kirk Cousins, he coming out that Achilles yeah. injury. But these new doctors and all this new medical technology, man, it's so different. Guys come back for way sooner than what right. they're supposed to. They were talking about Aaron Rodgers was going to come back last year. It, all in like, one year. All in one year. <laughs> I'm like, man, what? Yeah, unheard yeah. of. Unheard of, bro. How you think um, Carolina going to do? I think we're going to slightly improve. Mm-hmm. Um they gotta protect Brian Young. Man. Yeah, they gotta t- they gotta protect the young bull, bro. And they also gotta get him the pieces too. Mm-hmm. Now we just drafted a big receiver from South Carolina, big country. You know, what yeah. I'm saying? look like he be lifting damn hay rolls and shit. <laughs> like, but no, I think he he's got a cut strong country accent too. Strong, yeah. like like no other. Right. You don't even hear that where we from exactly. for real. For real. So. I think he's going to be very productive. Who else we picked up? I hate that we got, you know, we traded Brian Burns. I hate mm-hmm. that. Y'all did trade him. Yeah. Hey, man, it's a business. Yeah. It's a At business. the end of the day. At the end of the day, it's a business, man. And a business going to do what's best for for it. Yeah. I do see us slightly improving, but nothing drastic. I think... I th- oh, really. 500. Not quite, not quite. That that five hundred at best. Yeah. So nine and eight or eight and nine, yeah. like at best. But um, I see us finishing like, be, and I'm realistic, bro. Third in the, the division. Yeah. So, yeah, man, that's that we're going on. So, do you have a take on how the season may go, NFL? Falcons to the Super Bowl this year, man. I'm hey, calling man. it right now hey. on the, on the pod. Falcons to the Super Bowl. But you know what? I'm a Falcon fan, but I love Lamar Jackson. Yeah. I wouldn't mind seeing Lamar Jackson make it to the Super Bowl. They, everybody say that. They were all down. Yeah, right there. Yeah, right there, man. Yeah, everybody say that. I think everybody, especially because this the thing, you know, I love to see like black unity and stuff of that nature. And I feel yeah. like all the people like we relate to Lamar Jackson. Yeah. Lamar looked like somebody we could have went to school with. Yeah. You did yeah, what I'm man. saying. So it just we want to see him win, bro. Mm-hmm. And we want to see him win. And I think he's worthy of winning. I think I honestly think he's gonna get one. I want I want him to win so bad because so many people talk about him. You know oh saying? yeah, that. About he can't. He ain't a quarterback. Mm-hmm. He can't do this and that. He yeah. win that. He already got two MVPs. And yeah. They still talk about it. Yeah, talk about two time MVP ain't a quarterback. Mm-hmm. How? Yeah, yeah, they um they threw a lot of dirt on his name coming out when he was coming out. Yeah. So I think he's gonna I think he's gonna get one for sure. Don't know when they, they gotta keep the Chiefs out though. Somebody gotta keep him out. <laughs> that you know, somebody gotta stop them. Somebody folk. gotta stop them because they, they 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 making a dime still over there. No, for real. How many they got? They like three and four About since three, yeah. three and four since Patrick Mahomes been there. Mm-hmm. Patrick Mahomes gonna get ready to be the best player of all time, man. You think so? The only way. I agree though. I agree. 
Cause I ain't gonna lie, for the longest I hated on Brady. Yeah. I hated on bro for the longest, especially because I'm a I'm a real Panther fan. Mm-hmm. Like I I was a Panther fan when it was Jake DeLong, Steve right. Smith, that group right there. When Steve Smith, this is when I became a Panther fan. When Steve Smith became the Triple Crown winner, mm-hmm. he led the the league in yards, receptions, and touchdowns. That's crazy. That was, that was the league. Oh yeah, I remember you did, love yeah. Steve Smith. Bro, Steve Smith, that's my like role model growing up for real, for real. The mentality, like yeah. he was just a dog. He like. was a dog. So still is a dog. I've been seeing him calling games <laughs> like on NFL Network and everything. He got a podcast too. Yeah. Now you can kind of tell he calmed down, but it's still in yeah, there. Yeah, he's in there. It's in there somewhere. But um, yeah, I've been a Panther fan since then. So yeah. I think we're going to finish somewhere around 500 at best. Yeah. And that's being realistic. Great conversation here. Um, is there anything else you want to share, bro? Like any advice, anything you want to, you know, tell the people, bro, like place a word on them or something like. Yeah. Um, I think as, as an artist, bro, if you into it, man, they got to keep going. Mm-hmm. You know what I'm saying? And keep evolving. Cause that's what I'm doing. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? I started rapping with it. it wasn't just me. It was me, a couple homeboys. Mm. You know what I'm saying? And slowly but surely, you know, they kind of stopped. Mm. Fell to the wayside. It ain't moving. It ain't going fast. We getting older. But you got to love it. Mm-hmm. And I love just music. And I think that's also kind of a problem with music now. I don't think people love music no mm-hmm. more, bro. Like, people don't love the process of making music mm-hmm. i love the process of getting there and i like to look at it like a puzzle mm-hmm. putting puzzle pieces together and i'm building and i'm making a song you know you got people out here that doing music and they don't love it and that's why sometimes you know you get these songs that here for five seconds and they gone you know what i'm saying because you ain't putting no too much work in making that song yeah you know what i'm saying so i'm somebody i love the process of music and I don't care if it don't bring me no money ever in my life. I'm going to keep doing it because mm-hmm. it's just something I just, I love doing it. Music mm-hmm. brought me out of a dark place. Mm-hmm. You know what I'm saying? And I fell in love with it. That's hard. Yeah. That's hard, man. So I think what Calvin is telling y'all guys, like, you got to, first of all, find something that you're passionate about mm-hmm. and then grow into loving the process of doing what your passion is. But that's that's quite natural. Like once you find something that you really yeah. enjoy doing, you quite naturally love the process yeah, of doing you it. Love it. Yeah. No, that's real, bro. I, and like I was that, telling you earlier, like you got a bunch of people, artists, brother, whether you rapping, singing, they wanna they wanna be rappers, but they don't wanna be rappers. Mm-hmm. You know, you wanna you wanna be a singer. But you don't want to be a singer. You want to look like it. Mm-hmm. You know what I'm saying? But you don't want to go in there and put that work in. And like I said, you don't want to go in there and get them reps in. Mm-hmm. You don't want to go in there and you're going to make some songs that you ain't going to like. Mm-hmm. You got to keep going. You know what I'm saying? Like, I love the process of making music, man. Yeah. Man, it's, it's beautiful to me. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? To see it all come together. And, you know, you sit down and you listen to it and like, you be taken back, you're like, man, this is me. Like, yeah. Because, I, like I said, bro, growing up, bro, I didn't know nothing about music. Now I done learned so much and I done got into it. Man, it's beautiful. It's a, it's a beautiful thing, bro. That's hard. For real. Man, Calvin S, bro, I appreciate you coming on, bro. Oh, God. I appreciate you for real. And like I say, bro, it's good seeing you, bro. Like, you still intact, you still in good spirits and all, bro. Real talk. And once again, congratulations on your newborn role to fatherhood. Hope, you know, I might be right behind you in about another year or two. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? But hey, again, man, Calvin is y'all be sure to stay tuned. The project is on the way. It's on the way. August 24th. August 24th. August 24th. So y'all stay tuned in. The project is dropping this Saturday. This Saturday. This Saturday. Yeah. So again, Gary Watkins podcast. Calvin is. Y'all be sure to tune in. Hey, man, we out. Peace.